Hello, I'm Chris Arnold, a member of the Ohio Valley Military Society. I'm heading south to Louisville, Kentucky. I'm going to be your guide to the best historic arms and military show in America, the show of shows. If you like military, if you like history, it's time for you to attend. No matter how far you're traveling, this show's worth it. Kentucky's a beautiful state, and no matter where you're driving from, you're going to be driving on interstate. Take your time, check your route a few days before you leave, check the weather. Give yourself plenty of time to drive to the show. Your ultimate destination is the Kentucky Expo Center. It's on the south side of Louisville. Watch for the signs. When you see the gate, you're there. But what if you're not driving? What if you're flying? What if you're coming in from some foreign country like Germany or Japan or California? You're gonna love this airport. It's across the street. Literally, unless the plane's landed in the parking lot of the Expo Center, you're not getting any closer. As your plane's on approach, just look out the window. That big building you see down there, that's the Kentucky Expo Center. Now once your airplane's landed at Louisville, you'll have a short taxi over to the terminal. Before you know it, you'll be getting off that bird. Now this is a small airport, but it's got everything you need. Grab a bite to eat, maybe get a souvenir. Louisville's famous for sports teams, amazing things like the Louisville Slugger, they're into horse racing, and of course the most famous colonel in the world, Harlan Sanders. The lower concourse is where you'll find baggage claim, rental cars, phones, hotel shuttle services, and parking. Heck, this airport's so easy to get around, you don't even have to move your feet. Once you're in the covered parking lot, you're really close to being to the show of shows. I'm telling you, the slowest part's paying for the parking. But after that, it's on to the show. Hang on. Yeah, now that's an exciting two minute ride, especially when your destination is the show of shows. Once you're through the entry gates of the Kentucky Expo Center, you're gonna be struck by the sheer size of this facility. It's just massive. At 400 acres and with over 1.3 million square feet of exhibit space, the Kentucky Expo Center is a world-class facility. The Ohio Valley Military Society's show of shows is held in the South Wing A and the East Hall. That equates to about 150,000 square feet and two miles worth of aisles full of military for you to explore. On show day, you'll want to consider arriving a bit early. With a facility as large as the Expo Center, there's bound to be other events and the parking lot can get a bit crowded. If you flew into town and you need a lift to the Expo Center, not to worry. There's an assortment of hotel and Expo Center shuttles that can get you from point A to point B. Once you find your spot, take a moment to note where you're at. After a day of walking the show of shows, you're really not going to want to be searching for your car at the end of the day. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get inside this show. If you're looking for the doors, look for our show banner. It's going to point you the way. Once you're inside, stop by the admissions desk. Here's where you can pay to go to the show, or better yet, join the Ohio Valley Military Society and come to all our shows on your membership. It's a great deal. But now it's time to go into the show, and I'm telling you, it's almost like heaven. I told you, it's just amazing, isn't it? Your first decision, go left, go right, or go straight ahead. Facing you is 2,000 awesome tables packed with historic military, helmets, uniforms, historic arms, patches, vehicles, buttons, documents, photographs, pretty much anything you can imagine is here. It's real history that you can see, touch, and if you've got the bucks, 
you can take it home with you too. In addition, you're going to meet some great people. My name is uh, Garth Thompson and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And is this your first show of shows? No sir, I've been to all 21. What, what tips would you have for people attending the show for the first time? Uh, try and stay calm and pace yourself. It's an enormous show. Wear very comfortable shoes. Uh, if you're a collector, try and bring money. People uh, are hesitant to take checks and credit cards and try not to be overwhelmed. Uh, can you tell us your name and where you're from? Sure, I'm Dr. Susan Atkinson and I'm from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. Is this your first show of shows? No, it is not. How many have you been to? Uh, four, I do believe. What do you think of the show? I think it's fabulous. You get to meet people that normally you wouldn't meet, and you get to see things that you only see in museums. What tips would you have for somebody attending the show or show for the first time? Wear comfortable shoes and get ready to walk a lot and bring snacks. The lines get very long for food. It's not just private collectors who scour the show of shows for historic collectibles. Museums and institutions routinely attend the show to find items for their collections. Good morning. Could you tell us your name and where you're from? Yes, I'm Doran Cart, and I'm the senior curator of the National World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. Is this your first show of shows? No, I've been coming since around 2005. When you, when you come here, what are you coming here for? Well, I'm looking to uh, complete areas of our collection that we don't have pieces in already. So I'm uh, you know, really looking right now, especially for things from 1914, because we're doing a special exhibition on the centennial of 1914. How many military shows do you attend on an annual basis? This is pretty much it. This is really the show to come to. Some collectors are also involved in military reenactments and living history. Hi, I'm Lee Mudd from Columbus, Ohio. Hi, I'm Brandon Schmansky from North Royalton, Ohio. And is this your first show of shows? No, this is my second one. I was here last year, too. And do you, are you a reenactor as well? I am. I'm in the uh, 90th Division, uh, in the 90th ID Preservation Group. Uh, and basically, we're an Ohio-based reenacting group. What, what do you think of the show of shows? I think it's a great, uh, great event uh, for people to get together who have an interest in the hobby, whether it's collecting, reenacting, or just history, military history in general. Uh, and it's really neat that it's so international. Lee's right. The show of shows is a truly international event with collectors attending from all over the globe. My name is Peter Thomas, and I'm from Wangaratta in northeast Victoria in Australia. Is this the first time you've attended the show of shows? It's my very first time, so please be gentle with me. How long did it take you to get here? Well, from when I, I left the door of home to when I uh, got to my final destination in the States, it was about 36 hours of travel. What's your reaction and impression of the show of shows? Well, it's just awesome. It's just amazing, the 2,000 tables. But uh, today uh, is the day that... Uh, the local collecting guild that I'm in has its annual show and we're lucky if we have 50, 60 tables and uh, so I had to forego that unfortunately to, to come and just be faced with 2,000 awesome tables. For some collectors just attending a show of shows is a real dream come true. My name is Rita McCauley and I'm originally from Ireland but I live in Florida. And my name is Cindy Fancher and I live in Orlando, Florida. And what are you ladies doing today at the OVMS Show of Shows? Well, my nephew, who's 15 years old, is a collector. He started collecting when he was 12 years old. He lives in Ireland. And uh, he called me up and he said, Auntie Rita, I'd love to go to this show. He says, it's been my dream. And my parents said I can go if an adult goes with me. So he sold his collection, $1,200 worth, bought a plane ticket. And uh, here we are. He's paid his, his, his way, his hotel, everything. Good afternoon. Could you tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Patrick Lewis, and I'm from Ireland. And did you come here specifically to see the show of shows from Ireland? Well, it could, it, I went to see my family, but, you know, I mainly came for the show. How, how old are you? I'm 15. And are you a collector? I'm a collector, yeah. What do you collect? Uh, visor caps, helmets, and signatures. Do you go to military shows in Ireland? Yeah, I do. 
how, how does this show compare to the shows you've been to in Ireland? Oh, phenomenal. It's absolutely huge, and there's so many great things here. With our family-friendly atmosphere, the show shows us for anyone of any age with an interest and a love of preservation and learning about history. Good morning. Could you tell us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Anthony Cordner. I'm from Linden, Tennessee. And uh, who are you here with today? I'm here with my family. I have 12 children all together, and uh, we're here to experience the show shows. And Hello, my name is Caleb. We are from Tennessee, and we are here enjoying the history that is here at the show. I'm re representing the Army. I'm representing the Navy in World War II. I'm representing the Airborne in World War II. I'm just a civilian. Navy in World War II. Vietnam Infantry. Perhaps the most important and memorable aspect of the show of shows is meeting and shaking the hands of military veterans, the real people who made the history and fought for our freedom. Their stories are inspirational and their experiences just unforgettable. My name is Bob Bearden and I'm here to enjoy the show. I was in the 507 Parachute Infantry and made the Normandy D-Day jump in, uh, on D-Day in 1944. Okay, my name is uh, Edgar Harrell. I'm a survivor of the USS Indianapolis, the largest casualty at sea in the history of the U.S. Navy. Well, my name is Herschel Woody Williams, and I'm from the great state of West Virginia, almost heaven. I am Ronald R Rosser from Roseville, Ohio, and I'm down here assisting uh, the, the veterans uh, in uh, uh, the, the programs down here in uh, Louisville. Uh, my name is Joel White. I'm a retired major from the United States Army. I spent 21 years in the uh, Army from 1951 to 1972. My name is Theodore James Palooch. I was born December the 4th, 1922. I'm 91 now, you don't have to count. Every day we lose more of our World War II vets, so it's important to thank those who remain, and we've got to remember their deeds. Well, thanks for joining me on this quick tour of the Ohio Valley Military Society's Show of Shows. It really is one of the greatest historic arms and military shows in the United States. Heck, it's probably one of the biggest shows in the world. I hope you'll start making your plans today to attend our next show. If you do, I guarantee you're going to have a great time and make some friends. See you next time at the Ohio Valley Military Society's Show of Shows!